Testing and Education Reference Center from Gale and Petersons offers college and career planning resources. It offers practice tests for standardized tests like SAT and ASVAB and any AP advanced placement tests. It also offers career advice uh, such as how to write a resume, how to choose a college, financial aid for college. To get to Testing and Education Reference Center from the Perry Township Resource Portal, scroll down to Quick Links, go to iLibrary and Inspire. This can also be accessed from the Indianapolis Public Library with a public library card. If I scroll down, I can access this by scrolling down to Top Picks for High School and click on the button Testing and Education Reference Center. When the page first comes up, I will need to put in the access password from home, which is INSPIRE123. No capital letters, no spaces. If accessing from the Indianapolis Public Library page, click on Research, scroll down to A to Z Resources, Find Testing and Education Resource Center. When I get to the page, I can navigate for information in different ways. I can hover over the different tabs, and there are basic skills, tutorials, and question banks to help you learn new skills, including, including Microsoft applications like PowerPoint and Word. Under High School, I can access my advanced placement tests. I can access SAT subject tests. For college prep, I can access ACT practice tests and information how to study for that. PSAT and SAT. Under career, there are lots of different career resources that could be helpful to people going into cosmetology, firefighting, the ASVAB or military, uh, the teacher prep tests. So this is not just for students, but it could be for parents too. Grad school, the MCAT for those who are studying for the medical test, and LSAT for those who are going into law. Under the international tab, there are practice tests, the U.S. Citizenship Test, and the TOEFL test, which has to do with English proficiency levels. Another way I can access resources is to scroll down the page. There are online books about careers and exams for those careers. There are practice tests, and I can scroll through. So this is not just for college careers, but a lot of different careers. And then college planning. And the college planning site will help you gain advice for what you should be doing each year of high school. And then there are links here into specific tests that you can prepare for. There's advice like campus life, uh, how to choose a college, college visits, the application process, test preparation as far as SAT and ACT and which one should you take. And then there are even some career exploration sites here about resumes and interviews in your first job and how to pay for college. And then GED as well. Another way I can navigate this site is through the buttons. Okay, so let's say I want to try to take a test. And these are timed, and you can pause them along the way. Here I've chosen AP, or Advanced Placement Tests. And you can see there's quite a few to choose from. So now I'm ready to take 
a standardized test, a practice test. I'm going to choose the one I want and click on the yellow Start Now button. You will need to register for an account to use the standardized test option. In this way, you can pause your standardized test. It may be a three hour test, but you can pause it 20 minutes and come back to it later and do another 30 minutes, and that way uh, you can access your information about what you're using. To register, you will need to use a username and password that you're going to remember. I would suggest using your school username and password. Once you've created an account, you can log in. So this AP English Language and Composition Practice Test that I'm showing you, there are 55 questions. It will take three hours to take it. There are actually two different practice tests. So I will just click on one to start it out. And it looks like there's a there are two sections to this test, a multiple choice and a free response. So I can start my practice test. It gives me instructions and now I can start the test. You can see what it looks like here. The total time for this section, the time needed and elapsed is shown at the top as well as the time for the total test. I can pause this and then I could return to it at a later time when I want to go back into the test I can click it again and it will allow me to resume the test. If you need more information you can get help and support under the help and support tab and if I scroll down, there are tutorial videos that will explain to me how to use this resource further. Contact your Perry Township Schools school librarian for more information about this resource.